On June 14, 1777, the Second Continental Congress took a break from writing the Articles of Confederation and passed a resolution stating that the flag of the United States be 13 stripes, alternate red and white, and that the Union be 13 stars, white in a blue field representing a new constellation. Over a hundred years later in 1916, President Woodrow Wilson marked the anniversary of that decree by officially establishing June 14th as Flag Day, a national holiday that we still celebrate today. In 1983, President Reagan said, As challenges face our nation today, the Stars and Stripes continues to remind each of us of the sacrifices and determination which built this nation. Now it is our responsibility to remember the great price that has been paid to keep our flag flying free today, and our privilege to ensure that it will keep flying free for future generations. In 1981, this flag flew over the U.S. Capitol on Ronald Reagan's inauguration day, January 20th, 1981. Two weeks later, on the occasion of President Reagan's 70th birthday, Speaker of the House Tip O'Neill gifted the flag to President Reagan as his birthday gift. I don't know about you, but I always get a chill up and down my spine when I say that Pledge of Allegiance. And I hope that everyone here will join us and Americans all across the country when we pause for that pledge tonight. That you've been given the time in which we will all do that across the nation reaffirm our thankfulness, our love, and our loyalty to our blessed and beautiful land. Thank you for joining us for this week's Monday Minute in the Archives. Join us next week as we share our next treasure.